In this video you will learn what are CSS variables and how you can use them. So what are CSS variables you can understand from the name. You can create variables inside CSS like inside programming language. And essentially CSS is not a programming language. This is why it is extremely important that we are using the at least variables so our styles inside are reusable and supportable. And the first question here, can we use CSS variables at all and where they are supported? As you can see here, I am inside can I use, here is CSS variables, which are custom properties inside CSS. And as you can see here, we can safely use them if you don't need to support all browsers, like for example, year 11 or earlier. Typically, all companies nowadays are supporting just Edge browser. This is why you can safely use them everywhere without any polyfills. So how you can use CSS variables? Let's say that here we have a div with a class container. Let's close this div and inside let's render a button. So here will be button, class button and inside I will write hello CSS variables. As you can see in browser we have our button but we didn't provide inside any styles. This is what I want to do now. I want to define here a button class and some styles and here I want to define a color. And typically we are just writing something like color gray. But in this case we want to use CSS variable. We want to define that here we can use CSS variable if it will be provided from the outside. This is why here we are using a word var, then we are opening round brackets and we put two minuses. After this we can write whatever, for example, button dash color. Which actually means here we are not using some value, we are using a variable. And it is important to remember if this variable is not provided, this color just won't be applied and there won't be any errors. But essentially we want to make our CSS bulletproof. This is why we have a second parameter, which people are not using often enough. And this is the default value. For example, here we can set the default color is gray, but we can override it from the outside. Which actually means here we created a color gray, but now it is configurable. And we want to configure it outside. We can do it in different ways. For example, we can write here our class container, and inside we want to configure this CSS variable. In order to do that, we just write minus minus button dash color. And here we can write some color, for example, red. Let's check in browser. As you can see, our colors on the button are red now. And here is how it looks in browser. Here is our button. Here is our color variable. And it is even highlighted so we can click on this CSS variable. Just for you to know, if your variable is not defined, then it won't be highlighted and you can't click on it. When I'm clicking here, as you can see, I'm jumping to container and this is the definition. But it is important to remember that this definition inside container that we wrote, it does not do anything at all. It simply defines a variable, but it doesn't apply it anywhere. Which actually means you always want to use a combination of variable definition with minus minus and some name and then var and we're providing this variable inside. And now it's time to talk about scopes. Essentially here we created a variable button color inside our container, which means this variable is isolated inside this container and all its children. Typically in a lot of applications people like to create all their variables in a single place and use across the whole application. And in order to do that we can use root. So we are writing colon root and we are creating all these things inside. For example I can just put here color red inside our root and I don't have anything inside my container. As you can see in browser it is still working like before but now this variable is not coming from our container it is coming from root. So essentially it means that everything inside our document will have this variable. This is why you can imagine that we are creating just a single file with hundreds or thousands of different CSS variables and we are reusing them everywhere. For example, you can define here not button color, but maybe padding small and maybe distant pixel. Then you can define here padding medium 20 pixels and so on and then across your whole application you are not using just numbers, you are using these variables. 
and it helps tremendously because then you just need to update a single variable and the whole project is being updated. But it is not all, it is important to remember that nesting of these variables is still working. For example, here inside our button, I can just copy paste this button again. Obviously, this is broken syntax, but I just want to show you that this button will be rendered with this CSS variable. As you can see here, it is still applied, which actually means it doesn't really matter where we define it, in root or in our parent, it will be drilled through all our containers. One more thing to remember, that essentially you can use CSS variables, not just here inside first argument, but also here in a second argument, which actually here we can define a default color just by another variable. So we can write here var, and we have some another property, for example, button, color, default. And in this case here, first of all, we will try to use button color if it is provided. If not, then we will use button color default, which actually means inside container, I can now provide button color default. And let's say that it is orange. And as you can see in browser, our color is now applied, which actually means we can combine wires inside wires. Obviously, this is not that readable, but you can make it even less readable. Here inside default value, we can also provide as a second parameter our default value, which is gray. In this case here, if these variables are not there, then we will apply our default value. As you can see, it was successfully applied, but you must remember that this is not readable and I don't recommend you to use that. It is enough to make your class configurable and then set default value. And the last thing to talk about is frameworks, because essentially inside all frameworks like React, Vue or Angular, all your styles are isolated. And your question here is for sure how you can use CSS variables inside these frameworks. And actually this is a tricky question, because this is something which you are not typically using inside these frameworks. Why that? Because frameworks are giving you some possibilities to configure your components. We are not talking just about styling inside these frameworks, but about components. Which actually means we are using props inside React or input outputs inside Angular. And this is much better to stick to the framework than to use CSS variables there. Because in that case it will be kind of hack. Because the CSS variables are functioning outside of your framework. This is why if you are using framework it is much better to stick to the framework. And actually, if you are interested to know 5 CSS mistakes that maybe you are doing, make sure to check this video also.